गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रश्न नंबर फॉर क्लास 8 ओके लेट्स सी व्हाट व्हाट प्रश्न नंबर इज ओके प्रश्न नंबर As you know that the number which can be written in the form of p by q, where p q are integers and q is not equal to zero, is called rational number. Okay. The number which can be written in the form of of by q where q is not equal to zero and p and q are integers are integers are called मीनिंग कोई भी नंबर जिसको हम लोग p by q फॉर्म में लिख सके जहाँ पे उसका डिनोमिनेटर q जीरो ना हो और जिसके नोमिनेटर और डिनोमिनेटर दोनों दोनों इंटीजर्स हो उसे हम रेशन नंबर बोलते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल फोर by three seven by eleven minus nine by thirteen seven point two five zero One. These all the rational because these all can be written in the form of p by q. Like these examples are in the form of p by q, but seven by two, seven point two may be written as seventy two by ten. Are you seeing this? So it is in p by q form. So it is also rational number. Five may be written as five by one. So it is also rational number. Zero may be written as zero by one. So it is also rational number, and one also written as one by one. So these all the in the form of p by q. So these all the rational number. Okay. Now I am going to remind you which type of rational number contains. Okay. As you see, rational number consists all fractions, all Fractions and integers. Fractions and integers. What is fraction? Is the part of a whole is called fraction. Like these are the fractions. This is also fraction. These are integers. Okay. Integers. Integers. You all know that. Integers contain negative integers. Negative integers. With whole number, whole number, and this whole number contains zero and natural number. Natural number. You may remind it. What natural natural number is? Natural number. All counting numbers are natural. Numbers, okay. And natural number with zero are called whole number. Meaning, all counting numbers included with zero are whole number. And when these whole numbers combined with negative integers, they are negative counting numbers. Then it makes integers. Okay? You may say that integers are whole number with negative counting number. Okay? And these integers and fractions combined with make rational number. Okay? For Let's see now properties of rational number. Okay, which properties rational number contains? Let's see. There are four properties. You all know that closure property, commutative property, associative property, and distributive property over addition and subtraction. We will discuss each topic line by line. Let's see first property of rational number. First property is closure property. Closure property. What closure property is? 
you all know that closure property says that if two numbers are added, then resultant number closure property means if sum of just like sum of two natural numbers are always natural number, it shows that uh, natural number shows closure property over addition. Similarly, if four plus three gives seven, here four is also natural. 3 is also natural and 7 is also natural number. So this is closure property. Okay? Just like in rational number, 4 by 3 is rational number, 7 by 3 is also rational number, and if result which give 4 plus 7, 11 by 3, it is also rational number. So you may easily say that rational number shows closure property over addition. Okay? So this is addition first on it. So rational number is closure over addition. Okay. Similarly, you can see on subtraction like seven by eight minus. 4 by 8 gives 8, 3 by 8, this is also rational number. Means difference between two rational numbers also rational number. So rational number, rational number is closure over closure over subtraction also okay first what about multiplication is it so closure property or not let's see just like any rational number like for minus 4 by 9 into another is 3 by 2 its result minus 4 into 3 minus 12 9 into 2 18 you can see that this is in the form of 3 by 2, so it is also a rational number. And you easily say that product of two rational numbers gives rational number. Means rational number is also closure over closure over multiplication. Multiplication. Okay? Next, closure property over division. Is it follow or not? Okay. Like, you may minus 7 by 8 when divided by 4 by anything? Mm. 14. Okay. Let's see what this, this result is. Minus 7 by 8 when divided by 4 by 14, then it may be written as 14 by 4. Okay, the result is 14, 7, this is 4, means minus 49 upon 16, is it rational or not? You clearly see that minus 49 and 16 is also a rational number. Here you can see that division between two rational numbers is also rational number and also what closure property is good as, so rational number, rational number is also closure over closure over what division you seen here that closure property for rational number for for addition subtraction multiplication and also division but in division case in, there is a exception like when Denominator becomes zero, then it is not rational number as we know that. So, in the case, so this property hold except zero as denominator. Denominator. 
ओके तो ये आपका क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी था नेक्स्ट लेफ्ट प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक कमिटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी एसोसिएटिव एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी और एडिशन एंड सब्जेक्शन आई विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो वेट एंड वॉच इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट देन यू मे कंटेक्ट मी विथ माई नंबर एट मैं ओके थैंक्स